What's up everybody, Like a Strife here. How's the wolf pack doing? I hope everybody's doing fine. Uh, today we have a bit of a different video. We're actually gonna open up a box which holds a vacuum cleaner. Now, we've had a vacuum cleaner for some time now. And um, to be quite fair, it blew up after a couple of years of service. Um, we had to fix something regarding the air conditioning and uh, there was a lot and a lot of dust uh, coming in so I don't know what that is I certainly hope this is not something that has been opened before come on now <laughs> it's a Rowenta X-Force if y'all watch the uh, the Deadpool movie I think it's called they tried to call that X-Force I think it's pretty funny this is the 11.60 flex, 130 air watts, 45 minutes of time, flex, stop and go, 25.2 volts. So yeah, it should, be, um, should be pretty good. So let's see if we can open it up. Looks like it, that it's already been opened because I don't see any um, anything regarding tape. As you can see, I can already open it and it just came out of the box. So I certainly hope that this is not going to be a vacuum cleaner that has already been opened. That would suck. <laughs> Literally. So yeah, um, let's see what we have. It's a little dusty. This is our book. Don't need that for now. Let's just open up the main unit first. Which is in the plastic right here. I'm actually glad I'm filming all of this because, you know, sometimes you uh, you get packages and stuff like that. And people are not honest about what's going on. So this is actually the gun. So the control display seems to be... Somebody might have opened it. There's a lot of dust on there. I have no clue why. Battery is 100% apparently. So this is pretty cool stuff. As you can see, uh, like what's going on. Same batteries, 100%. All right. Well, there's a, an on and off switch right here. This is your trigger for when you're holding it in normal mode. And if you hold the trigger, it's going to be turbo. So that's pretty dope. Apparently there are some uh, little, I think, sensors here that, that the thing is sensing that you're holding it. Um, it is quite heavy. thought it was going to be a little bit lighter. Um, but yeah, it looks nice. You know, it's a nice unit. Uh, the beat that they made for this, um, for this vacuum cleaner and this whole lineup of vacuum cleaners, the X-Force from Rowenta, is pretty sick. If you check out their... Um, their videos regarding the demos of this stuff really cool beat in there I wish I uh, made that so we're gonna put this to the side real quick this was on there just now this is gonna be the wall mount as you can see right here um, I think something slides in like that I think it's the uh, the the handle itself so I'm trying to see if I can get this good on video it's gonna be like this I'm gonna slide it in like that and it's gonna stay on there. It's not going anywhere, so that's good. So that's nice. Of course, the battery is something that you could buy if you wanted to. Um, I see that there's there's an indicator here. Does it indicate there as well? No. I thought there was gonna be a button. You're probably gonna see it when you load it somewhere on the um so you can just take it off like that. That's really cool. I hope you guys could have seen that. Um, but there are lights here. So that's probably for charging only. But yeah, looks really cool. So next we have the flex force. The flex force. The flex area, which is going to be the thing that we need to click it on. All right. So that clicks into place. If you push this, you can go like that. It has a smart little tube going through here which is also very nice and if you go like this click it into place which is also very nice every part that you click in has these brushes on there 
So that means you can vacuum it in specific ways, long, short, etc. Looks really cool, very futuristic. System lock system, so that's when we put the uh, the big hefty gun on there, which is pretty dope. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have a spare filter. I think this is actually a spare filter. Don't know if there's already one in there. I'll put it to the side over here real quick. Um, we'll we'll open it later. Oh, hang on. Uh, my girlfriend is being called, but that's not my problem right now. So then we have a little thing over here, which is pretty dope. This is the um, one of the brushes as well. That's one for maybe carpet or stuff like that, you know, carpet, whatever, that's fine. So oh, it's a sofa brush. There you go. It says right there, sofa brush. And you can use it in 360 degrees, which is pretty dope. Um, God damn it, the fucking phone is going again. Super annoying. Let's put it over here. So we've done that. We've unboxed this whole thing. I don't think there's going to be anything else in the box, maybe underneath. Oh, there is actually. It's kind of stuck. Oh, there's way more stuff. Of course, duh. I'm an idiot. Where is the normal stuff? So we have way more stuff in here. This is going to be the small brush, I think. We have the big one for the floor. And this is the extra one. Make sure that I put everything back in the same order that it came from. Um, so this has the little brush right here. You can hear it. Um, of course it spins. It has a system lock button. It has a little bit of a flex force to it as well, which is nice. I'm going to put that to the side as well. Getting a little bit crowded now over here. This one is apparently for your, like for example, your cracks. Everybody has problems with cracks. I know I do. So this one just goes into specific crevices, you know, in the corners of your house, stuff like that. Speaks for itself. And then we have something here, which is probably something that's the same color as the, um, as the, oh, it should be on here. Yeah, there we go. And this is the piece where you can probably slide this on here. Oh yeah. You can slide this on here. I'm not going to do it right now because then it's going to be stuck. But you can slide this on here. Probably put some accessories in there when you have it on the wall. Or you can just choose to only have this thing. I think, I don't know for sure. I've not seen wall mounts regarding this stuff, but that's fine. We know it's a wall mount. It speaks for itself. And of course we have the, oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. There's a charger here, but there's an extra sack over here, which is pretty weird. That's why I think it's already been opened. And that's something that I don't really like, if that is the case. Again, there's plastic around here, but you can probably see that it's already been used by somebody before because it's, it looks like it's they, they put it back. This is gonna be the charger. Also speaks for itself. And then lastly, we have this big mama jumbo right here. And, um, yeah, this also has the, the flex joint on there with the system lock. Uh, what, uh, what is really cool about this specific version is that if I want to, if I assemble the whole vacuum with the whole um, stick on there, complete 100%, I can put it in a stop and go mode, which means I can take off the gun and the stick and including this four thing will just stay in the upright position and just wait for me while I come back and then um, reassemble this with the gun again. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. All right, this one goes, this is also something nice to mention. It has the 180 flex technology, so you can go uh, flat, go underneath the um, couch. And if you really want to turn it, you can still do it like that, or maybe even more like this. So that's pretty cool. We never had a uh, vacuum cleaner that, well, we call it the stick vacuum cleaner um, here in the Netherlands. But yeah, I mean, that works. We never had that before. It's wireless, of course, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's going to be the unboxing for as far as I know. I would like to um, assemble it completely. I don't actually know if there should be another of these rolls. 
because I thought you were going to be able to switch one out. I have to probably look on the interwebs to see if that is the case. There's nothing underneath here. So we're going to grab the stick real quick. Um, this one can go on the floor. And I think this one should be going over. No, it's not going over there. You would think so, right? Yeah, I think it does go over here. Yep. So you can loosen it. Okay, so now we have the the stick completely with this thing on. See, it's not going anywhere because we have the system lock, so I can't rip it apart. So that's cool. I'm going to grab the gun real quick. Sorry if I constantly come in front of you. Can we see it over here? I hope so. Can we see it? We've got the gun. And just slide it. Hold the little button over here. Slide it over it. Let go of the button. And it's stuck. So now, now ladies and gentlemen, we have this whole thing right here. There you go. Now we can start vacuuming. Oh, it's really nice that you can hold it like that. And you can push this and go underneath the thing. Click it back. Turn it on with one finger. It has LEDs on there, which is really nice. Supposedly, I think it can only vacuum forward and not backwards. But, you know, that's fine. You need to go uh, over certain places two times anyway. There's some stuff that just does not want to come out of the carpet, but we can use the turbo. Whoa! And now I can feel that it's uh, sucking the whole carpet off. I know that sounds very sexist, but I can't help it. Uh, it's on... I hope you guys can see it. It's on green right now. It's ecological. We can put it on max. So that's pretty cool. It goes a little bit quicker now. A little bit uh, harder suction. And then we can just turn it back to ecological again. So you have your two switches. Again, I hope you guys can see that. You have your ecological, you have got your max. Now the battery says that it is dying. So it's not full at all. Let me put it back on eco. And this is the battery. But it says it's almost done, so we have to charge it anyway. And I wonder... Uh, yeah, I already see stuff in here. I wonder if that's from um, me doing this, uh, the vacuuming right now or because somebody else already tried to test it out and they're gonna hear from me because do you guys see it? Look at it here. You see it move around? So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna be very careful about this. You should be able to I don't know how this is going to come off actually. I've not seen them do that before. Alright, so here is the gun right now. And here is the thing. This is the whole thing right here. You can see dust in there. I hope you guys can see that. It's difficult to see. Yeah, there you go. You could saw it. You see it wibbling, wobbling around. Um. I can see you have to turn it. Yep, take it out. So this is actually the first filter in here. Let me see if that's actually, yeah, it's a little bit dusty. It's good that you can rinse these off, which is nice. But um, yeah, I wanna see now how we get rid of all the other stuff down here, I mean, how do you get rid of this stuff? I mean, literally, look at the... I hope you guys can see this, actually. There's a big, giant ball of stuff in here. Oh, you can take it out. There we go, we can take it out. Very carefully, something from the dust already fell on the floor. Picking that up with my hand. Look, look how gross it already is. So I'm gonna make a picture of that after the uh, the video that I'm gonna end right now. Uh, it does work apparently very well, but I have to clean this out because this is just bullshit because it said it had a sticker right there and it actually said web shop return. 
You might think that that's actually a sticker for me if we want to return it, but you cannot tell me that this is a new vacuum with this stuff already in there. That's not gonna be just from one minute vacuuming right now. So that's pretty crazy. But either way, I do like this this whole concept a lot. I really like the, um, the Rowenta uh, vacuum cleaner. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please stay safe and healthy. Wolfpack out. Peace.